Tinsara is raiding with a party of 10. Kaish and the gang welcome you. I think I'm ready to go. Um, Sarah, thank you for the raid. I super appreciate it. Sorry, let me... Thought I was ready. My mic was very far away from me. Hopefully it didn't matter too much. Um, thank you for the raid, Sarah. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome in, Sarah and raiders. Um, eats. It was a... It's a beanie kind of day today. I... <laughs> It's one of those days where no matter what I do, I'm either too cold or too hot. So I'm like, let's put on a tank top, some sweatpants, and maybe a beanie, and then have a blanket just in case I get a little too cold. <laughs> but this seems to be the good balance. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to... My therapist yelled at me yesterday for not doing enough self-care for myself. So I'm trying to do more, um, and generally just like, I don't know, make myself even cuter than normal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, welcome in, Raiders. I think a lot of, uh, a lot of Sarah's crew know who I am, but in case you don't, hi, my name is Keisha, you can call me Keish. Um, I am a queer horror and mystery game streamer, we play lots of 
lot of spooky stuff here, but various, various levels of spooky. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to say. That's, not, it, that's about it. <laughs> um, ooh, excuse me. I have hiccups right now. Um, which is not fun, but it's fine. We'll work through it. Um, you said you, you streamed for a long time. Sarah and people who came in on the raid. If y'all need to take a short break, go for it. I'm gonna be here for a good long while. As you can tell, we have only just started streaming. Uh, and I usually stream for about two hours in the afternoon. So we'll be here for a good long while if you decide you wanna you wanna come back and hang out. If not, no pressure. It's totally cool. We appreciate you showing up anyway. Um Yeah, go do the human things, go take care of yourself, get some get some food, maybe drink some water, um do a quick stretch or walk about. Uh, take care of some stuff around around the space that you're in. It is important. Um, yeah. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Emmy. Have a good day. I hope work is, goes goes well. Uh, and I'll see you later, friend. But thanks for stopping in. You're amazing. I love you. Um. <laughs> trying to think of what, what there is to say yeah like I said my, my therapist yelled at me yesterday that I well I say yelled but very gently told me that I needed to to practice self care in a couple of different ways uh, more than what I was doing so I'm trying to so one of the ways that I'm doing it is just uh, is putting on putting on some makeup not a lot but just some um, I was starting to do that this last week anyway but I'm really gonna like put in an effort to, like, make myself feel good for me. Um, so y'all get to reap the benefits of my cute face. <laughs> I don't like hyping myself up like that. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, and also, like I said, we're gonna play Witchwood today, which I'm very excited about. Uh, my brain is functioning a little bit more. I actually got some sleep last night. Um, Emmy, okay, hold on. There's this thing. There's this thing. I'm gonna talk about therapy a little bit, but not a ton. There's this thing that my therapist had me do, and it's hard to see because my light is garbage. There's this this thing called self care pies. Um, and pies is a is an acronym for stuff. Um, but it's like the different ways that you can that you can self care, both or through physical, intellectual, emotional, and social means. Um, and it's it was a nice way to kind of see. <laughs> my therapist likened it to like uh, sim bars, like your your needs and sims. Um, and it's a cool way to kind of see where where you might need to to practice a little bit more. Yeah, I can see, I can, I can send it to you afterwards. I meant to, like, tell you about it, but then I got, uh, distracted by stuff. No, my therapist is great, <laughs> honestly. Uh, yeah, no, my therapist is great. I love him. But, um, yeah, and so I realized that I, there's a, there's, I, I do a lot of good self-care. I do a lot of good, a really good self-care already, but I am, I need to do a little bit more in some, some other areas. Uh, so I'm gonna try and do that, and I don't know. I don't know if you guys want me to, like, chat about it here so we can all remind each other to do some self-care. Uh, we might, I don't know. But anyway, hi, I'm getting distracted already. <laughs> um, Witchwood, I did get some sleep last night, and that's great. Uh because I haven't slept, like, at all this last week or so. Um, so self-caring is very good. It's important. And it gives you ideas of, how, how, like, things that you can try for self-care. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. I can, we can do that. We can, we can do that. I'm here for it. Um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that things are back to being a little more chill for me which is great. Lamia is doing a little better. She's over here sleeping. This is where she sleeps now with her pile of blankets on the couch. Um, 
She's she's a good kid. She's doing a little better, which is great. <clears throat> um, but yeah, hi friends, welcome. I'm happy you're here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Spotify to stop, and we're gonna move on over to the game. I don't know why I how it started playing because I definitely did not tell it to start. <clears throat> Excuse me. That seems awfully loud. If it if it's too loud, let me know, as per usual. Um Exit. Load. Yes. I didn't realize that my uh that my game I mean like I knew my game was running in the background. I didn't realize I was clicking on things while it was minimized. So that's fun. <laughs> um how is everyone doing today? How are things for you? Talked a bit about how I'm doing. I wanna know how y'all are. While you're getting ready to tell me that, you wanna Rip it and rip it a little bit, maybe? Consider? Consider. It's a very good grip and rip. Um. What are we doing? We. Right. We have new. Uh, new, new, new souls to get. <laughs> it's okay. You can type it out. You can do the command. It's all there for your convenience. It's whatever you want. We are... We have four new souls that we need to find. The rat, the cat, the fish, the ram. We know about the fish and we know about the cat. I guess we've seen the ram, haven't we? We don't know anything about the rat, though. But the graveyard seemed like a bad idea. Like a place that we didn't really want to be. Um... So then the question is, we were actively working on the ram, weren't we? We need more shoes and a gnome hat. You know about the rat? Is the rat's weakness a sploop? We need to sploop the rat. Luna, thank you for the contribution to the center sandwich. <laughs> Reminder, we do have a community challenge up. Oh, fruity! <laughs> hey, we appreciate a good work and lurk. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Luna. Thank you for the contribution. Travis, thank you as well. Um, happy to provide, potentially provide some background noise for you, Luna. We love you. You got this. 69% is ruined, it's true, but that means we are one step closer to me eating this cursed sandwich. No, we've discussed this before. The number may not be visible to us, but it does live on in us. 69 is still here. Don't worry. You can't get rid of 69 that easily. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, Luna, Fruity, Travis, thank you for the contributions. Um, It's true. It's worth it for the sandwich. <laughs> 69 in our heart sounds like a health risk. Yeah, I wouldn't rec- I mean, I wouldn't recommend- Yeah, fair enough. You got me. I- I have- I have nothing that I can say- I have nothing I can say to that at all. Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> a nice health risk. No risk, no reward! Oh my god. Y'all are out of control. I'm here for it. Alright. We were attempting to... I'm gonna turn that down just a smidge. Uh, we're attempting to get some stuff for our little gargoyle friend here. We need to catch another- just one more elf, I think, to get his shoes. We also need to get a gnome hat. So it is time to do a murder on a gnome, which we need a cube for the gnome. Um, what is 
this. We need a seashell for the cube, though. Which is a bit of a problem. And a shiny lure. Who do we have? We do not have a shiny lure in our inventory. Just yet. Oh my god. Sorry. I have hiccups real bad and they hurt. Um, DK, thank you for the thank you for the contribution to the center sandwich. I'm very excited for this dang sandwich. It's gonna be great, uh, despite what Fruity says. I am genuinely excited about it. And it's which is gonna make it even more hilarious if it turns out just terrible. Um <laughs> but I'm, I'm stoked. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Sandwich, 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 sandwich. In fact, I think I have, aside from the cereal, I think I have everything that I need for it here right now. I'm pretty sure I've got some turkey. I think my mom just picked up some, uh, some strawberry jam. And I think it's like the tart, the tart kind that I like. It's gonna be great. <laughs> your your lying allergy, the allergy that you're lying about, it's fine. You don't gotta eat it if you don't wanna. You don't gotta. We're not making you partake in the sandwich if you don't want to. I just thought it would be funny if other people also tried the sandwich but did uh not the smooth bread. <laughs> But try different cereals, maybe. We all we all try a different cereal and a different brand of, of jam. It's okay. You can be cowardly. Well, we will only think a little less of you. Just a little. <laughs> smooth bread. I, I hate I hate smooth bread so much. <laughs> Um, oh my god listen throw a couple of barbecue chips on top of a like a really good like turkey sandwich <laughs> very good very good I'm glad we can at least agree on that <laughs> oh, that's a mimic. I forgot those were a thing. Oh, no. Panic. The panic was real. Um, That's the graveyard. That's not where we want to go. We need to find... We need to go to the ocean. We have to... Go. I'm sorry. I can't help anyone. I'm in the ocean. Fuck off! I want this man to go away. Mm. Sir, I just want to pick up the cobblestone. Mm. And the nail you stole from me. Stop! Also, my controller is plugged in, so it keeps making, keeps like shaking my desk. <laughs> I've unplugged it. Um, did I actually update that? I did. Okay, good. I am vaguely on top of everything today. I'm like, like I said, I like got some sleep last night, which was great, but it has left me just like completely out of it. All right, he's not even stealing our stuff, sir. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. Everything hates me here. <laughs> I just want to pick up some things. Um, hold on. What are we? What are we looking for? A seashell. We're looking for a seashell, right? And I know that I find it at the docks, but where? Where do you find seashells? Like. So we came here to burgle your turts. No. No turt burgling. Don't be. <laughs> um, 
I would like to find a seashell. Goal is still to do a murder. <gasps> Wait, no, that's... That's the portal that sends us back here. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. Because it had a seashell on it. Can I steal that shell? Consider. Steal the shell from the portal. Please. No. 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 I just want the thing. Okay. I don't know where we're supposed to get a seashell from. Kids said that people were looking on the beach for them. Which is fine. Not the lobster men. Um, and I'm looking on the beach. But I cannot find anything. Not the clamps. What am I supposed to do? If I get the clamps. What what is the uh what is the procedure for declamping? Come on. <laughs> it's a good emote. I'll give you that. It's a very good emote. Um No declamping, that's just it. Once you're clamped, you're you're oh it's over. You're done for. Oh no. Okay, let's make a bunch of wicker work. Like a bunch of wicker work, right? So that I can have four cages. And no more than that. This is upsetting. Well, at least we're gonna get some claws, I guess. I... Where, where do I get a seashell from? Please, game. Gotta find the hermit. Listen. I could try to murder a seagull, that is true. They need snap traps, which makes sense. I mean, we should also just try to do a murder on a seagull anyway. Because, fuck seagulls. <laughs> but also, consider, what do I need for these guys? Title teacher. I have been spotted. Not my fish and chips. That's not where I wanted to put that. It's fine. There's a seagull coming down. Nope, they just give me shiny stones and needy morsels. This is a problem. This is very much a problem. No, fuck off. Date a seagull and hot tofu boyfriend. I think, I think the pigeons and hot tofu boyfriend like genuinely hate seagulls. I think there is a conversation about how bad seagulls are. Goon dingy. Hello. No. did I get here? Why am I here? 
menacing totem standing guard over a conspicuous circle of seashells. I see no shells. Please, game. Maybe we have to do the fish thing first? Maybe we have to do the fish quests first. That's a little upsetting. Do you... Sandpiper. That has no means of dying. Here, let's go talk to the man. The man who wants the seashell. Oh, there. Where do you think you're hobbling off to? I don't want to go fishing. Don't make me go fishing. Me? Why? I've come to visit my, uh, son. Har har har. No, you ain't. The only family anyone on this tub has is the sea yourself. And no one gets aboard lest they pay the toll in seashells first. What's a gold-brained swabby like you want with a bunch of dirty shells? Take for me. Captain got his own business with them shells, and I ain't one to question. This is... You want an overdin situation? This is how you get an overdin situation. So either you bring me your dues or cast off. Bring me seashells, the nice kind too. What's that sound like the ocean waves? Some of the fisher folk must be carrying some shells. Okay, I see, I understand. They're good, they're playing with fire, and they're gonna get the squid. They're gonna get the squid. Look, and as some as somebody, as someone who super appreciates uh squids and octopodes and various other cephalopods you don't you don't want the squid the squid's gonna show up and it's gonna fuck up your day and it's just not gonna be great at all <laughs> okay we need and we need that picker or the pluck pocket what is this pickpockets glove okay so we do need just like a shit ton of shiny lures, which means that we need more sticks in general. You gotta have to squid, you won't be your friend. It's true, and it's tragic, but, you know, I can respect that boundary. <laughs> Alright, we will need to get more sticks, rope, and fireflies at a point, but this should be enough for now. We need pickpockets gloves, so we need to take our shiny lures back into town, kill some pickpockets, and, and yeah, it's gonna be great. Where are they? Pickpocket where? Hello? No, not the mimic. Um, I have missed this game. It's very cute, very good. Get it, go get it. Oh, he drops two. Oh, that's so nice. I was, I mean, it makes sense. He has two hands. I was very concerned that I was only gonna get like one glove per pickpocket. He get two. Um. Pickpockets where? Get it, sir. Get it. Get it before the elf does. Get it before the elf does. Good. <laughs> He's not Michael Jackson again. It's true. Which I was concerned that he was. But the more gloves I have, the better. There's that dog still barking away about everything. Um. That's leaving town. What else? I still want to give those cats a treat, but I don't have the supplies for it right now because we need milk, I think? They need some milk! I like how the pickpockets are still just blinded the entire time. Um, we've got... We've got enough. We've got to keep doing it. Could just start collecting ropes and stuff again. 
done. Clay, I suppose. We're always short of clay. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we just always need to be collecting forever. But we just took a short break because it didn't feel like we needed it for a while. Okay, can we make the thing now? We can make four of them. Fantastic. Great. Right? I also just feel like it would be a very good, very comfortable outfit as well. But, like, the pockets. The hidden pockets in our sweet little witch's outfit. Very good. Get got. <laughs> All the good warm layers and and the very nice soft cape and all of not the seeds. <laughs> That's too many seeds. We don't need we do not need that many pockets for seeds. Well, I guess we do, but not the red seeds. Please. Please. Oh, uh, is there anything else around here? There's some more rope, which is great. We want that. Um, we could go to the market at some point, but we won't for right now. That man needed five shells, didn't he? Fucking hell. Okay. That's fine. We can do something. I need at least six shells, is my understanding. Because we need shells for... We need five shells for the man. And then we need a single shell to make a box to get a gnome hat. And we only need one gnome hat, right? Yeah, collect a gnome hat from the fields. And then we needed, like, five elf shoes or something like that. Or, like, three? Maybe four. Four would make sense. He has four feet. Where is... I need another... I need another man to try and rob me. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Your horn looks sad again, but I thought we fixed that. I don't think our friend's okay. This makes me upset. <laughs> Can we steal that? What is this? Give me the nail. Let me look at this. Iron nail. Oh, it's like behind. I thought the board was like shiny. It's fine. <gasps> Give me that egg? I need to deal with that goose. Not the goose. I don't know how to handle goose. Goose is gonna kill me. Goose is gonna kill me. Oh. bad sounds. There we go. We're fine. Everything is fine. Are there no bandits around here? No pickpockets? No thieves? Seems incorrect. I can get milk from this cow. Cow milk. We got some milk. Everything is okay. We got some milk. There's only Scram. Why? Why are you a pig, sir? Can't. I guess I can't ask that, can I? No, that's a rat nest. need more pickpockets. There's not something that you would generally say. But these are weird times. Does, does leaving the area and come back reset? It does. Great. 
Get it. Get it. Got it. Perfect. Um. This does complicate things a little bit, though, because I'm also out of crab claws. And I need more twigs. This is... I mean, who's to say I didn't? <laughs> he uses those hands for evil. He doesn't get them anymore. Your hands are gone. Your hand rights have been revoked. It's true. How else would you get his gloves? You just gotta zap his hands off and then and then you can peel the gloves off of off of his little fingers. Take this as a lesson, y'all. You steal stuff. Hands are gonna get zapped off. By some witch of a swamp. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Let's catch us a bunch of fireflies, because we are out of them. Let's go ahead and get that fairy since she's here. And you know what? Since there's a frog here too, let's go ahead and catch that. Um. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta de-hand a man. I don't see anything wrong with that. Twigs. I guess it's been a while since we've been in the forest. It makes sense why we don't have as many twigs as we used to. Sad. It is a sad state of affairs, but it makes sense. Um, we get more twigs by, like, breaking the logs, right? Uh, it's true. Only steal cursed dolls from nativity scenes. That's the only thing acceptable. Look, listen. Those neighbors? Bad. Bad people. They have stolen more than I have. That was, let's consider that a Robin Hood type situation, right? <laughs> if you're Robin Hooding, Robin Hooding things, go for it. That's an acceptable means of stealing. Anything aside from that, though, no hands. <laughs> we love Cursed Jesus here. Okay. <laughs> cursed doll. Cursed doll Jesus. Very good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, I need some fucking twigs. Please. These logs are not doing it. Uh, but that's fine. Game, do you want to bring the music back? I liked it when there was music. <laughs> Get away from me. There's the, there's the music. Um. I do remember now that I said at one point that I would play in my own time just to try and, like, gather some supplies. And you know what I didn't do? Play in my own time to gather some supplies. So that's just what we're gonna do now. But that's fine. It's chill. It's easy. And just hang out and Listen to the good sounds of the game. Um, I do wish that there were more twigs around, though. Like, that would be great. That would be wonderful, actually. Is that a goblin? Sarah, thank you for the contribution to the center sandwich. Twig! Uh, I am, like I said, I am just very tired, but in the good, like, rested way, I'm just happy to be here. Um, <laughs> napping is important. I'm glad you remember, but also, go do a nap. Go do a sleep. Get some rest. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's 
just a mellow kind of day, you know? I hope everyone's taking it easy as you can. Um, it's gonna be great! Thank you for the lurk! Uh, I, there's a lot, there are a lot of items around here that are wonderful and we are happy to have them, but also not what I want. I'm never going to have enough, enough twigs to be happy, am I? Hi, farts. What are you doing, rare cat? Hey, that's not for you. <laughs> Um, we can do some more shiny lures, which is not what we wanted. We wanted to do crab traps. I need so much wicker work for that. Also, Devo's here. Devo says hello. <laughs> Devo says, wow. <laughs> Sweet little boy! Oh. He uh, was so snuggly last night. He was very sweet. Devo's very sweet. I don't know if you all know this, but Devo's very sweet. He's a good sweet boy. <laughs> I love my sweet baby. Oh, 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 You know what we could do? Scare the snot out of these orblins. Literally. Get the boogers out of the gerblins. Where did your boogers go? There it is. <laughs> it's all mine. Farley, what are you doing? Um, okay, how, how are we on things? Better. We are better on things, right? Give me your boogers! Give me! I need your boogies! Farley is doing crimes over there. <laughs> he's wandered off. He knows he's been caught. Now he's trying to pretend that nothing happened. <gasps> Hi, Mimi! How's it going? Hi, friend. <laughs> How are things? Um, no, I love Farley, but he is an absolute goober, and he likes to take things that are not his, and then pretend that everything is fine. I'm doing very well. I am very sleepy today. Uh, I got some good rest last night, which has left me just, like, perpetually exhausted, but in the good kind of way. It is a sleepy day. I know that there was, like, um, I know in my area there was talk of, like, a potential, like, storm, um, gonna be getting all the snow or something. And so I'm just like, alright, let's just hibernate, let's go. Time to bundle up, get comfy, time to just chill out. But I'm glad you're doing well. Um. Oh, a big yawn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're doing good. So, oh, that's a that's a crab. <laughs> Just playing a very cute, very easy game today. Enjoying everyone's company. Just happy to be here. <laughs> I've been like, I don't know, uh, I've been super sappy the last, like, the last few days. And just like, very pleased with everything and everyone. It's just good. It is a very cute game. The art is wonderful. I like the crafting in it. Um, very much follows, falls under the, the spooky, spooky cute vibe that we've got. Uh, would highly recommend Witchwood if you want something that's just like easy but engaging. 
<laughs> this is it. This is the game. Nope, that's... No, please don't hurt me. I'm doing it very bad right now, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta. <laughs> Alright, do we have enough to, like, make all of the luck pockets that we need? Yeah, we do. Alright. We can rob six people, which is great. I assume I assumed that they were only gonna give me one They give you so many Oh okay So we've just done a bunch of stuff that we didn't need to do for any reason That's fine Now we'll have Now we'll have shelves for days um, I also think we can pickpocket people in town? Maybe we should... Maybe we should pick some pockets in town. You know, for... Science. <laughs> I know their pockets are empty. I'm trying to pick up the shells. Please, witch. They didn't give me anything. They didn't give me anything. This is tragic. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's all fine. Give me all of this. All of this stuff. It is now mine. Okay. I'm gonna save this last one for a person in town. <laughs> Because I did it bad. It's fine. What do the people in town give us? I imagine just like gold or something. Gold and empty jars. Okay. That's fine. We can make our cube now though. For the gnome? I want to watch a gnome explode. Okay. Shall we go blow up some gnomes? <laughs> Just very casually, very normally, you want to go blow up a gnome. I want to make more skeleton keys. What do we need for that? Oh! No, I don't have enough bones. But we need bones and heads and iron nails to make skeleton keys. Understood. We got a ton of bones in the graveyard, right? That shouldn't be too terribly hard to, to manage at some point. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I imagine we'll need to give the treats to the cats for the capsule. For that whole quest line. We'll address that problem when we get there. We could probably do with getting more... Whatever that is. Twigs. Twigs is the word I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and get those six sprints though. I think I just need to uh, collect stuff as we walk around. I need to remember to get things even as we're going places. So we never run out of anything ever again ever again we need to go to the fields which are south so we can... yeah Gnomes are in that sunflower patch, aren't they? 
Am I actually remembering where things are in this dang game? Hella. Do the thing. Solve it. We have a hat. We have enough shoes. We have enough hats. Is that everything that we have to do for the gargoyle, which is the ram? Yes. Yes, it is. Down with the fae. The fae have to go. We cannot... We do not abide by their terrible, mischievous rules. <laughs> Get out of here! Perfect. I'm glad... I'm glad... I'm glad someone understands my dislike for for fairies and and fake fake creatures. <laughs> Gargoyle, I have things for you, buddy. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around. Have some elf shoes. Set the tiny foot uh, footwear aside. Give him the gnome hat. You set the little gnome hat nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. Eee! What? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent! Don't appreciate the shiny fade ons and all cheap little gremlins. My thoughts exactly, though. <laughs> uh, the excited statue seems thrilled about the elf shoes in particular. They nearly give me a heart attack. But I don't see what's so great about these those things. They're barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto its wiggling toes. Oh, but they are aren't they just lovely? And they match my scarf. Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is, or I'll turn you into gravel next need to wrinkle up your rags. I've carried her out to a secret gro grove in the woods to hide from the ram. Even managed to save some of her stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. Gargoyle flexes the heavy stone wings on its back. Let's go. Let's go. Here for it. Let's go. I wish I could see the little tiny shoes on him. Also look at the sheep. <laughs> It's so wiggly! Why are you so wiggly? I'm gonna rob rob the sheep first, obviously, of course. Look at her! Ah, stay, stay back! The rain sent you to finish me off, didn't he? Oh, crackers, I knew I couldn't trust that gargoyle to keep a secret. Calm down, I didn't come to fleece you. In fact, I came to see why that miserable tyrant tried to run you out of town. You glance around at the rescued rolls of pattern fabrics and balls of colored yarn. All because of this lovely textile work? I never meant to cause trouble. I just wanted to make beautiful clothing. But the ramps on my work is some affront to his great vision. He wants all sheep to dress the same, think the same, be the same. But I don't understand. Why can't we be different? The loudest voice is seldom the wisest. Tears well up in the sheep's wide set eyes. They burned down my wool shop and tried to kidnap me. I only barely got away. Thankfully, that helpful gargoyle was able to salvage some of my things from the fire. At a time like this, knitting clothing is the only thing I can do to calm my nerves. I hope I have enough yarn to last me. My poor spinning wheel was broken on the journey here, so I don't think I can make any more. Shame. I, too, am a weaver of sorts. Your wheel can't possibly be, uh, be beyond repair. Can I take a look at it? If you think it would help, be my guest. Where is your wheel? Where is your- there it is. Literally right in front of me. What do we need for this? What are you doing over there, buddy? A restorative idol. Alright. How do you make? We need two mending poultices. Which we have plenty of supplies for. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of them. Uh, I mean, 
that it needs a necromantic charm, which we pretty much have everything for, except for the wicker work. And that is that everything. Heck yeah, it is. Show us. Hi, Devo. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Where is he, boy? Mo! 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 Mo scream! Let's fix that wheel. As good as new! A few splints and some elbow grease, and she's all ready to go! Wow, really? Thank you so much! What can I ever do to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an, an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Why, a special gift! That's a lovely idea! But it will need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of his should do the trick. The ram guards his flock like an ogre. He won't be able to get a single hair off them when, with him watching. That is a problem. Oh, unless you find his missionaries. Sometimes the ram sends out loyal sheep to spread the word. Why, I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me, after all. He spouts his gibberish to the corners of the world. Where are these missionaries? Nearer than you think. They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. Shame they won't have the ram's protection. I've got plenty of fleas here, but if you have something special in mind, just put it by the spinning wheel. We need three things of sheep wool, metamorphosis elixir, and crypt crawler silk. I have to kill a crypt crawler. Those things were big and bad, and I didn't like them. <laughs> I don't want to kill a crypt crawler. I mean, I can do it, but do I want to? No. <laughs> that command is oddly motivating. <laughs> Alright, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Um... We have to go to the market. What do we need to take care of these sheep? That's the question. Like, do we have to put them to sleep, or can I just, like, snip, snip? Excuse me, madam. Have you heard about the ram? The one true leader? Oh, truly, I don't have time for this. Just look at all these clo clothing stoles around us. It's... It's revolting! So many patterns, they make my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some eye-watering patterns, all right. A good magic show ought to set you spinning. Prestidigitation deck? Give them the old razzle-dazzles, what that said. Gotta love us some prestidigitation. Um, glitter bomb, shiny lure. Let's make a shiny lure. Let's go. And a glitter bomb. Got plenty of stuff for that. Press the digitation. There we go. The sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure magical spec uh, speculation as you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah, it's so, so... Ah, I can't see! That's right, keep your eyes on the pretty colors while I shear you bald. Oh my god. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. Ah, I can still see the colors even when I close my eyes. Out of my way, I can't preach like this. I've got to get back to the flock. That was beautiful, and I loved everything about it. Um, okay. We do need... We need more fireflies again, don't we? This is a problem. I need one more firefly, specifically. And I need... Two more empty jars. It's a good thing we've got lots of clay now. 
but I have enough stuff to make the glitter box that we need. Great. We also need more skipper scales. But to get skipper scales, we need more twigs because we need more traps. Boy, oh boy! It's fine. We got this. We can make this happen. Not even worried. Did that not give me any twigs? Are you serious? Please. Extremely stick poor. It's not great. We'll get back to being stick rich, but for the time being, it's just gonna be a tragic state of affairs. Look, we got lots of fireflies again. I say lots, enough for like three things. <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. Um, just want more sticks, please. Game. Take the sticks and break them in half, and we'll have two sticks. I wish. I imagine the sticks have to be of a certain size and shape, and if you break them down past that, they're just not gonna work. Or they have to just be very specific, very perfect sticks. Not not all sticks are created equally. <laughs> sticks at home. They're bad sticks at home. There are two logs right here, though. And two sticks among them. Three sticks, excuse me. It's not nearly enough sticks. Game, I need more sticks. You want me to do all these things with sticks, but I need more sticks. <gasps> hi, Dougie. How's it going, friend? Hi, hi, hi. Um. Oh, no. Fruity, please. <laughs> Fruity, please. Excuse me? Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, how goes it, Dougie? How are you doing? Fruity, please. <laughs> I guess the chat I guess the chat command just doesn't like you. Oh no. No no no. No, no, dog. Dog, please. Um <laughs> Consider. More rope. More rope. I didn't mean to open up. I don't know how I did that. Oh, that was terrifying. Um. <gasps> Amate. And it worked out. Good on you. I am very tired. Oh my god, sorry. I'm very tired, but like. I've said it before, but like in a good way. <laughs> We're doing good. Um. Yeah, it's just a good sleepy day. We're gonna take it easy. Just hang out. Um. <laughs> Dougie and Travis, same brain. But yeah, it's good. It's very good. Uh. Yeah, I plan on just like hanging out with, with folks if they want to hang out and do stuff. Play some games. Take it easy. All the games that we have like for streams today are like nice. This one's very chill. Barely relaxed. Uh, I mean, Tiny Bunny is going to be terrifying, but like it's just reading. So I don't have to like think too hard about that. Uh, I am very excited for, for Chapter 3 of Tiny Bunny tonight. I'm glad that we've replayed through the second chapter, but I am very ready to be spooked. Just reading and jump scares. It's it's very very easy stuff. <laughs> I can work with with reading and jump scares. 
<laughs> Tiny Bunny has been one of the few, like, visual novels that I've read where I've, like, genuinely been, like, spooked. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a very well done visual novel. I just, there have been just a couple of things where I wish they had been a little more clear about. Slash, they just need a proofreader. That's all. Okay, we have the press the digitation decks. Which is great. There should be a sheep in the graveyard and one in the market. So let's go find those sheep. And maybe do an explosion on them. Ooh, who's there? Show yourself in the name of Ram! No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely old woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty goats. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits. He glances over his shoulder to, in a near panic. Oh, why the ram sent me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch your cauldron and thought as the sheep jumps in a nearby patch of mist. Looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and this bull will be fine for the picking. I have to do a different one for each of them? Oh. Okay, that's... I should have checked. I assumed. Well, we have press the digitation decks now, and I hope that I need that for other things. What is this? Ghostly ectoplasm. Soothing rune, exorcism charm. Oh no. Soothing rune. We need the soporific potion, which I need water for. <laughs> Upset. Fine, we can get some bones while we're here. What is this, though? It's a black rose. There are far too many different enemy types in this graveyard. <laughs> Please. We need to go back to the to the forest so I can go into the well so I can get some water. We should probably just fill up on water. We should just fill up on water. We have lots of jars that we can make. Let's go ahead and do I guess 14. I can't make any more than that. We'll get a little more clay while we're down in the well. But we'll also pick up some sticks while we're here. Because we're forever stick poor. I don't like being stick poor. Just give me some sticks. Where is the well? There's the well. So while we're here, we'll also grab some rope. Um. Goodness gracious. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need, like, while we're down here. Oh, do I have enough to make a skeleton key? I wonder if I can use a skeleton key on the box that's over here. You know? Um, I should collect these frogs, but I think we're doing okay on frog goop. Skeleton key is what I need for that. Do I have enough for a skeleton key? I do. Just. Just barely. Um, let's go ahead and move the skeleton key there. That's a lot of coins! Great! I think five things of water will be enough. Let's do eight things of water. <laughs> uh, 
Um. Okay, we need that. Do this. I should make a couple of these. Because I know that I need them for something else, and I don't remember what. We need bat wings and some more wicker work. Okay, we're doing better on six than we were. Um, gonna have to figure out how to get bat wings now. We're here. We might as well catch them. <laughs> We're gonna have to explode a couple of bats. It's gonna be great. Uh, Wouldn't yeah. even worry about it. Since we're here, we should also get the the fireflies and stuff. Since we keep needing those for like weird random things. Make sure we get those. And also that. We'll catch the frog that's over here, as well as the fireflies, and the one fairy. Try and find more sticks as we go. Is this not? I have run in a circle. Is it to the left and up a little bit? Where are you? Yes, there it is. Um, you can never have too many items on you. Ever. Firefly, I need you to stop wiggling so dang much. Okay. Now back to the graveyard. Back to the graveyard. But also sticks. <laughs> we are middle class sticks now. Neither poor nor rich. Uh, graveyard. We also need to figure out how to explode crypt crawlers. Um, and do a couple of other things that I cannot think of at the moment. I should make a couple more soothing rooms, because like I said, I think we need that to make other things. am I trying to make? I have already forgotten. We're trying to make this. Okay, so ghostly ectoplasm. What do I... Bat wings. How do we get bat wings? Take care of the ghostly grass, guys. That's fine, I suppose. So then it must be like the the antler ghosts. <gasps> Thank you for the contribution, Dougie. We're gonna be eating that sandwich here pretty soon. It's gonna be great. Spirit salts. I don't think it's them. I don't think they've given us ectoplasm. You 
beat the exorcism charm. Bait stick for the vampire bats. Understood. I think I have a few of those. Um, but before we do that... We finish collecting all the stuff that's over here. There's so many things! Put those there and then wait for the bats to come. They have exploded and they have given us blood. As well as wings. Great. Great. That's not what I wanted to do. Pick that back up. Glad it doesn't waste the trap. It'd be very upsetting. Okay. Can we make the exorcism charm now? I can make a single exorcism charm. I didn't think that was gonna work for a second, and I was gonna be so sad. <laughs> to take care of crypt crawlers though. So to do that, gotta go into the crypt. Um where are they? Arachnocide is what we need. That's the wrong button. Which is here. We need a potion of blight, and then we've got everything else that we need. So what do we need for the potion of blight? That's what we got. We got the stuff for it. Great. Let's go ahead and make a couple of those, then. We'll make a couple of arachnocides. Perfect. Come here. the haunted mannequin so that'll take care of that one dude the one sheep as we're leaving though is there anything else that i need to do what do i need for the metamorphosis elixir i suppose that's something that i should be asking ourselves oh we can make it free and then also well, that's everything. So we just need to finish collecting all the wool. And then we have all the things that we need for our our little sheep friends. Great. Great. 10 out of 10. Keep doing this because we need clay and bones. And I love having enough stuff that I can just make things. Um, as opposed to having to wander around and collect everything. To be fair, I do love the environments in this game, so I don't necessarily mind wandering around and having to collect what I need when I need it. But also, if we could just have what we need, I wouldn't complain about that. Where's- there's a sheep. Sheep nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. Aye! No 
now's my chance to shoot at his hole before he comes back to his senses. Thanks, bud. You quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this. I don't care how angry the ram gets. I'm going back to the flock. Bye, bud. Have fun. <laughs> uh, I want to go to here. I want to go to here. Let me go to here. Nope, nope. I'm stuck on a corner. Okay, and then marketplace, right? Over here at the market. It's the docks. We have to go to the docks. That's where the other sheep is. Okay. Shep. Shep. Hello, Mr. Shep. Buddy. Pal. Friend. Oh, we need... No, we don't. Never mind. I'm thinking of a thing that we don't actually need. Because I was wrong earlier about needing skipper scales. I do genuinely hope that I need those prestidigitation decks for something else. Because uh, otherwise, I just have a bunch of. I have a couple of decks in my pocket for no reason. Hey, hey, you! You know what stinks around here? Your breath? Maybe cut back on the crabgrass. Har, har, very funny. I'm talking about all these mismatched folk. Walking around like disgusting individuals. Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be part of something bigger? How how are they not full to the brim with the pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper into its own metaphysical pit. This fellow seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, he won't mind if I filter some of his wool. Bottled despair recipe. <laughs> Why do we know how to do this? Um, we need weird water. And then we have everything else that we need because we got those spectral tears earlier. Great. <laughs> the sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. What's the point of it all? I feel like so alone. Poor fella. He'll feel better when the curse lifts. But it'll be too late for this wool. Snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. You collect a clump of wool and pat the sheep on his fluffy head. There, there. Things aren't always so bad. Why don't you run off home to your flock? You're right. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. The sheep wipes a dewy tear from his face and uh, lobs off toward the village. Lopes, excuse me. Lopes off. Alright, it's time to go back to our our buddy the gargoyle to go see our friend, the black sheep. Stop. Bad crab. Great. We're making some progress! And I'm very happy about that. Um, where is gargoyle? Assuming the game will actually let me grab those. Pick that up. Gargoyle, please and thank you. Oh, hi! Did you need to lift out to the secret grove? Let's go! Let's go! I can go. <laughs> Got plenty of fleece here. Yay. Yeah, yeah. A sheep wool there. Three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are most eager to please uh, any hand that guides them. Metamorphosis elixir. A metamorphosis elixir that will really make these garments pop. Are we gonna turn him into a into a into a sweater? This this ram is gonna get turned into a sweater. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and their silk holds the key to that boundary. With all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. You 
will finally be cozy. I'd, I'd wear them. <laughs> she rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon, a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, didn't even have to use any dye. I could use your help any time. She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. The mesmerizing colors seem to dance across the threads. Let's take it. <laughs> Definitely will need a wash, that's for sure. My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skills at the wheel. You say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was in such a panic that I completely forgot about him. But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if I go back there. You leave that to me. Time to revisit the ram. We're gonna finish the ram off and then maybe start the fish quest before the end of stream? That's very exciting. I'm excited about it, at least. Color is the path to division, and division is the bedfellow of damnation! Bah! Bah! You twist the length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I'll just loop my magic yarn around each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. Rainbow sheep! Look at them! Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. We are turning the sheep gay. It's beautiful. Look at them! The flock turns away from the ram's ravings, fully enraptured by the colorful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? This is the black sheep's work? Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. Shows what the ram knows. Oh, you idiots, it's wrong! Have you forgotten everything I've taught you? <laughs> look at all these wild colors! I never knew wool could be so neat. Stop looking at the colors! Amongst the commotion, the voices of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. So glad that you all appreciate my handiwork. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wool we've ever seen! Where can we get some more? Stop! Listen to me! Oh wow, look at all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours up and running again. You're right. Oh my, this is also overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does that mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help fix it up again if it means we get more of this fantabulous colors. Ah! The ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. <laughs> be gay, do crimes, y'all. Oh my, what in the dickens happened? Guess he clanged that awful bell of his just a little too hard, gave his own head a proper ring until it couldn't take it anymore. Glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. Fitting end, I suppose. Shepherd is nothing without his flock. Give me that bell! Give me that bell! You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clanger is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. We've done it. Quest complete! Sorry, I'm trying to like look at this poster board because there's a bunch of people missing. And I wonder if one of them is Our Lady. The maiden. Under the, the shrine? You know? Consider? Hmm. Okay. Or maybe we put her into a slumber to save her from becoming missing? Thinking. Thinking. Let's go give the sailor his shells. Let's go meet the fish man. Not this fish man, a different fish man. And, uh... See where we are then? Is this incorrect? Good morning.
morning, Llama. I like it when she decides to wake up. <laughs> Where is this dang ship? Here? No. Here. Sir, bring me seashells the nice kind too. Ones that sound like the ocean waves. Here are your seashells. Hold out your collection of shells for the sailor to inspect. Ah, uh, fine booty. Excuse me? Go on and take them into the cabin. We'll see uh, you're fairly compensated for your services. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> um, are you locked? You are locked. But you know what? I have enough for another skeleton key. worthless piece of maritime currency. All of the sand dollars. Hello, sir. Dapper fish sits beside a horde of seashells obsessing over each one like a jeweler. He grabs the nearest one and runs his thin fingers carefully over the shell's spine. Bringing the seashell to his lips, he blows a little trumpeting no note. His bulbous eyes light up with hope as if waiting for something to happen. An uneventful moment passes, and he tosses the disappointing shell aside. Ah, you useless piece of flotsam. Grabs the next shell on the pile. This one. It's gotta be this one. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm looking for the captain of the ship. Fish's eyes swivel at you suspiciously. Hey, are you daft? Can't you see my big hat? I am the captain. You don't look much like the father of that little red-haired girl on the docks. No, then you must be talking about my predecessor tragic, really. Fish shakes his head and blows sad bubbles from his pipe. He grabs the nearest shell and runs his thin fingers carefully over its spines. What happened? Poor bloke went overboard during a nasty typhoon. We tried to fish him out of the drink, but I'm afraid to say he's with old Davy Jones now. As his trusty first... I thought that said fish mate. As his trusty first mate, it was my responsibility to take up his mantle. He just his oversized hat with pride. Now, you best have something for me, or else you wouldn't be wasting my time. You need any seashells? Deckhand outside said you'd pay for them. It's <laughs> as the captain's fish mate. Missed opportunity. The fish tears, uh, tears the shells out of your hands with such force that you nearly lose your footing. He brings the first shell to his lips and blows on it so hard that spe uh, specks of flying slime go flying everywhere. Makes a pathetic squealing whistle. I mean... <laughs> Fish me. Fish slumps back down into the fat red chair, tossing aside the shell with a sharp disdain. Cursed rubbish, I'll never find it. Find what? If you're looking to pick up a musical instrument, you're sure about, uh, sure going about it in a funny way. Never you mind what. Just bring me more seashells. Plugs an odd coin shaped object at your feet. What's this? I just traded you a bunch of shells currency of the future. If you get on in on the ground floor, you'll be richer than the stag prince when I'm in charge of things. So if you want to be set for life, you just bring me more, uh, some more seashells. I think I'll manage my own investments, thank you. Shame I'll have to break bad news to the child about her father. Sad. Alright, also, let's make sure we're following the proper quest line. <laughs> Oh no, Dougie! <laughs> Sometimes fish fish just gotta blow. Did you get inside the boat? Have you seen my dog? I'm afraid to inform you that your father was lost at sea. What? That that's impossible. He's the captain, and the captain never abandons his ship. Not a t <laughs> Just sprinklers everywhere. Not the slime sprinkler. Captain and a captain never abandons a ship. Who told you that he was lost? Was it that slimy first mate, the fish? As a matter of fact, it was. Why? Of course, that explains why everyone is collecting seashells. He's trying to find the conch. Swindling everyone in town just so they'll help him find a conch.
conch shell? It's not just any conch. My daughter used to tell a story to all those who've listened. See what? You know what the little girl the fish? No? I don't think so. Are you gonna send it to me? You better send it to me. You gotta send it to me, Dougie. One night during a terrible storm, a handsome young sailor fell overboard. As he sank down into the sea, a beautiful mermaid came to his rescue. She brought him back to the shore beneath the lighthouse. It was love at first sight. But alas, they couldn't be together. She had fins and he had feet. <laughs> Please send it to me. Look, I don't like fishing, but I but I don't mind a fish. It's just the fishing aspect of the whole fish thing that I'm not a, not a fan of. No fishing. <laughs> but yeah, send me the video. I need to see it. Let's go. Uh, but they made a special promise. Whenever he missed her sweet voice, he'd stand under the lighthouse and blow an enchanted conch. No matter where she was, she'd hear the sound and come to see him. That way they could be together, even if only for a moment. No fish, ha ha fish. No fish, ha ha fish. This is rude. Isn't that romantic? It's just a silly fairy tale, girl. If that gross fish believes it. I bet he thinks he can make the mermaid fall in love with him if he gets the conch. They both got fins after all. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm gonna pause. And then we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna go over... This... Is this the right screen? Did I really move everything around like this? That seems wrong. Oh well. Let's open this up. I'm not trying to disguise no, bad ads. Bad ads. I don't want to watch your dumb ad, YouTube. Please. No one cares. I have seen this one. It's so quiet. Hold on a second. Why is it so quiet? Why are you so quiet? Don't be quiet. <laughs> it's just like the child in the game here. <laughs> it's okay, fish. It's okay. <laughs> that poor fish. <laughs> right, the fish is like, I literally cannot breathe. Put me back. Girl just says, it's okay, fish. It's okay. It's okay, fish. It's okay. <laughs> Bye. That's what's happening here. This girl is definitely just holding this fish being like, it's okay, fish. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Thank you, Dougie. That was a delight. Uh, and maybe my dog's still out there. Maybe he got rescued by a mermaid, just like in the story. Oh, please, you have to find the conch before the fish does. It might be the only way to find my dog. Your, your dad is definitely the man in the story. Don't worry. If the fish has everyone in town combing the beach for this thing, what makes you think I'll have a better chance? Maybe they're all looking in the wrong place? Sailor in the story lived in a lighthouse, not on the beach. Okay, well there is that... Hold on. We did have that little boat right here. And we found this earlier. I do believe that this might be the conch. Okay, we'll go to the lighthouse first, though. It's a dinky dingy! Tiny dinky dinky! Huh. 
Hi, Devo. Hi, buddy. Devo over here going, ooh. better days. Although it towers above, uh, high above the pier, the paint has faded and the windows have crusted over with layers of salt. The door refuses to budge. Gross barnacles and corals seem to have sealed it shut. You put your ear to the keyhole and hear the unmistakable roar of the ocean inside. With your face close to the door, you spot words carved into the weathered wood. Lengthy, babbling prose about love, loss, and the sea. Blech, what terrible poetry. But mayhaps it's some forlorn magic left here by the old lighthouse keeper. Well, I don't have the time to go fishing for long lost keys. Good dose of love juice ought to open up the any embittered heart. Not love juice. Not love juice. We need a skeleton key and the love potion and oceanic oil. How do we do that? I need a deep one. <laughs> but to do that, I need this. Which I need another skipper sail, some more weird water. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got the weird water. We need skipper scales. But to get a skipper scale, we need to have a crab trap. Holy shit, why are we just we're falling down a crafting <laughs> terrible crafting rabbit hole. Um, I think I have some fishing stuff left. Great. No, right here. No, I want the skipper! spaghetti right now. Come here, Skipper. Great. That should be enough scales for this. The title tincture. Be out of here. Title tincture for the the deep one. Who is now just a tiny fish. <laughs> uh, we can make the oceanic oil. Which means we can make the love potion. I need a mummified head. How did I make a mummified head? I need salt. I need vanishing powder. Unveiling powder, excuse me. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. We need a bunch of it, and I don't use like any of those materials for anything. Let's go ahead and make some spirit salts. Holy shit. Hi, Devo. Sorry, he is so happy to be here right now. Aren't you my sweet boy? actually holding still. Who is this cat and what has he done with my boy? Uh, why are you just so content? Hi. This is Devo. He is baby. In case you were wondering. Devo do be a baby. One. 
<laughs> Wrong object selected. Not great. Okay. Can we get some bones? I think I had enough bones, but I would much rather just again kind of stay on top of that. I'll make a couple of these since we've been needing a lot of them. Maybe get some more mummified heads while we're here. There are a bunch of these boys hanging around. I would like it if I could find like a group of them. That might not happen. Oh well. One is better than none. Nine bones. Sweet, happy child. Okay, let's go back to the docks after we make the key to my heart. And then back to the docks. We can open the lighthouse. And, uh, probably call it there for today? Well, for this afternoon? <laughs> Sorry, I- <laughs> Devo just keeps, like, lightly headbutting my arm. Um, just because of, like, how I'm sitting to use my mouse, he just keeps going bonk. And then sitting there for a minute, lifting his head up, and then- Bonking it again. Hi. Is this you trying to tell me that you want me to pet you? I'm a little busy, buddy. Love you. The rusty lock makes a sound like a sloppy kiss as you turn the key inside it, bubbling and creaking. The aged metal hinges protest as years of grime dissolve away. The wooden door swings open to reveal the wall of emerald sea water. You can see fish swimming about inside, but not a drop crosses the threshold. Oh my! The entire lighthouse must be filled up like a bottle. You prod the salty uh, aperture with your finger, and sending ripples along the surface. Then, as if you pull the stopper from the uh, tub, the water begins to drain. Slowly at first, but quickly building ferocious speed, the waves cascade around you. You catch notes of, tr of a trumpeting sound droning above the crashing swells. The music turns to a soft whisper as the last of the flood is sucked away, leaving the inside of the lighthouse damp and encrusted with stranded sea life. Bend down to examine the source of the drainage. A folded conch shell is wedged between the waterlogged floorboards. A conch? Put the conch to your ear. It sounds as if an entire ocean is contained within it. Oh, what a marvel. Wonder if the mermaid will still answer its call after all this time. Child's story said to blow it out over the water under the lighthouse. Blow conch! Standing at the end of the pier, you blow into the conch. Feel the warm breeze pass through the salty waves and uplift your spirits. A crystal clear trumpeting note rings out from the shell and seems to still the ocean waters to a mirror shine. Sweet laughter chimes like a bell in response and a shadowy shape approaches from the depths below. Hi, ma'am! An enormous, full-bodied figure breaches the stillness of the water, throwing her hair back joyfully and extending her arms out to the sun. She thrusts her body up onto an outcropping of rocks, splashing her long, finned tail in the waves. Ha-ha! Hi, ma'am! As the mermaid speaks, her voice is operatic. My gift! My gift! Lain silent for years, now sounds again, sad music for my ears. My lover long gone, but their memory is still sweet. I thank you for the nostalgia. What would you entreat? I'm looking for a man lost at sea. He was the captain of that tall ship over there. You point to the high sails looming over the docks. I don't suppose you've had any dealings with him? This man I have seen, though his fate is not known. Placed on a plank, overboard he was thrown. Downward he plunged, though not to the bottom. No, a great serpent swam up from the deep and... Got him. He was pushed overboard. A grumpy fish told me he was lost in a storm. Did you see where that this leviathan got to? The lagoon by the shore holds a secret below. Send away the tides and the serpent will show. 
To keep that conch close, Flo and I shall abide. I'll bring strength and sea to your side. With her song finished, she blows you a wet kiss and starts greening her hair with a spiny seashell. I love her. <laughs> okay, JK, maybe we're gonna go take care of the serpent right now. Or at least go see the serpent. We might as well. We got a few minutes. I do, though. Good lad. He's being so still. So I keep commenting on it. It's just weird for him to hold still for this long. Shall we... Shall we conch? Take a deep breath and press the conch to your lips. Clarion call echoes across the rippling tide. Feel the waves swell around your feet, reverberating with the sound of the conch. The water disappears so fast that you're unsure if the tides are receding into the ocean or if the seafloor itself is rising from the depths. When the waters recede, you look across the island to a yawning cave opening. From within, you sense the steady rhythm of enormous breaths. Does this take us back to the forest? Because there was that. That's a fish tail. World holds of the surf. That's your head. You are a large lad. <laughs> Never mind. This is definitely does not take us back to the forest like I thought it did. There is that uh that gate in the well that we haven't like done anything with. No, 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 no. Not where I wanted to go. Can I? Absolutely cannot. Are you getting up now, Devo? Are you done? Okay, sir. Devo said I'm done here now. Okay, maybe. Maybe we do save the serpent. Friday? Friday. Yeah. This works. This is fine. I'll at least, like, go in here. And, uh... We'll call it there. Yeah? Uh, cool. We got lots done. I'm excited about that. I do appreciate the fact that, like, even though you're running around and collecting stuff a bunch, you can still, like, very easily make progress. I don't know. It's good. Um, all right. Well, we're going to end it there for now. Um, I will be back this evening with some uh, tiny bunny. Get to hear me read more stuff to you. Uh, Nam, thank you for the contribution to the Sinner Sandwich. We are 75% done with the with this dang community goal, and it's been like a week. Y'all. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're gonna end it there. I got a few people online. Hold on, I'm trying to see who we've got. I know we just raided Smiley on Monday. Smiley's been going for a while with her co-stream though. But I got some stuff that I need to, to work on. I do I. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't actually have anything to work on. Uh anyway. Let me list off who I've got on. We've got the Hoss the Hot Cross doing some prop night. Smiley is doing a co-working stream. Uh, Angry Barman is doing uh, some Majora's Mask. I assume uh, trying to do some speed running stuff. I don't know. Uh, do any of those sound good or does anybody have any recommendations? I kind of want to go hang out with Smiley because uh, I've been really enjoying like <laughs> tidying and doing stuff while the co-stream... Uh, co-working stream has been going on. Um, but yeah. Thoughts, opinions, ideas. Because if no one has any suggestions, then we're just going to go hang out with Smiley. <laughs> um, Alright. I'm going to go ahead and start that raid. 
But again, if somebody has has a suggestion, let me know. Um, but until next time, we all say home good. Let's go hang out with Smiley because we love Smiley. Uh, it's been really nice seeing seeing her stream, uh, as much as she has last like the last week or so. Um, but yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out and being here. And, uh, we'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Bye, friends.